So my name is Boris, I come from Croatia and uh, I'm a professor at the university teaching uh, animal health and welfare and also food safety. And uh, currently I'm living in Kiev for already one year where we are implementing uh, one of the biggest projects in uh, this part of Europe uh, related to animal welfare. Uh, the name of the project is Improvement of uh, Legislation, Control and Awareness in Food Safety, Animal Health and Welfare. And now we are in the middle. The uh, project is uh, to be taken for four years. And I can tell you that it is challenging to uh, change the system in such a big country like Ukraine, having uh, more than 40 million people. And Ukraine is currently one of the main trade partners of EU, so it is uh, important to align the standards in animal welfare. And uh, there is uh, more and more interest from food producers to, to align these standards uh, to be able to export to EU. In the beginning, some, some history of uh, animal welfare in Ukraine. Uh, so Ukraine is OIE member since 1994 and uh, it signed association agreement and also deep and comprehensive free trade area uh, between EU. And uh, it means that uh, it uh, was committed to, uh, to uh, have approach in legislation related to animal welfare according to EU and OIE standards. Uh, the first step was uh, done in 2006 uh, when Ukraine adopted the law on protection against animal abuse. And this was actually the beginning of uh, creating better awareness on, on animal welfare at all. Uh, current status is that uh, our project is uh, now the main shifter in the uh, situation in Ukraine. And in 2020, uh, we were working on uh, law on veterinary medicine. And uh, fortunately, it was uh, adopted in the beginning of this year. And this uh, law regulates essential requirements to animal health and welfare. Actually, our idea was that uh, the title of the law would be uh, Law on Veterinary Medicine and uh, Animal Welfare, but uh, finally it uh, stayed without uh, this part of animal welfare, apart from the fact that uh, it is, the topic is within the law, so it is inside. Also, uh, one important step was in the beginning of year that uh, there was a, a sub legislation developed uh, in protection of farm animals, pigs, cows, and chicken. And what remains to be done is uh, the rules about transport and slaughtering. Uh, transition period uh, is still 2026. It might uh, look long to you, but uh, I can tell you that uh, uh, it is not an uh, easy process to put uh, all this legislation in place and to change uh, uh, the things on farms, on producers. So it is uh, uh, the time that is acceptable for, for such a such, um, uh, job. Our project, uh, as I said, is working on animal health and welfare, also in food safety, and uh, our aim is to align uh, uh, with EU standards and international standards, also to ensure health guarantees on animals in different areas of the country and implement comprehensive st uh, state prophylactic program for uh, specific disease like uh, um, avian influenza, BSC, uh, food and mouth disease and some other diseases. Uh, we are working on four components um, which are complementing each other. The first component is development of legislation. Second is uh, improving standards in the restructuring of control of uh, food safety, animal health and welfare. Third component is uh, uh, raising public and stakeholders awareness. And fourth component is uh, uh, building continuous training system to ensure sustainability of all these three components. Uh, within this third component, uh, we have specific activity of raising awareness of veterinary education on institutions, students, on issues related to animal health and welfare and food safety by drafting their needed proposals for amendments to the veterinary faculties curricula, which means that uh, we are proposing changing uh, the programs for veterinary faculties to cover more uh, issues that are related on food safety and animal health and welfare in line with EU standards. 
We are working it in uh, several steps. Uh, so the first step is um, uh, raising awareness uh, through uh, introducing teachers on veterinary faculties with European and international requirements. Also analysis of, of current Ukrainian national standards, creation of uh, different working groups that are contained of uh, professors from 11 veterinary faculties in Ukraine. A development of short-term strategic plan of improvement of veterinary education, education on national level and this discussion of work of, of the results. All the documents that we are developing in the project are based on international uh, recommendations like OIE, competencies of graduating veterinarians, also uh, recommendations of European Association of Establishments of Veterinary Education, and European system of evaluation of veterinary training adopted in Zagreb in 2018, and also the most important directives coming from the EU. Here you can see the example of uh, new topics that are being introduced in the veterinary curricula, like episodiology uh, is uh, now, uh, as, our, as our proposal is, containing uh, infectious diseases, preventive medicine, also regularity of epidemiological, epidemiological process, processes, way of infection transmission, collection treatment of epidemiological data, and the very important part is uh, risk assessment. Uh, there is also part uh, related to zoonosis and one health concept, which is uh, very much developed already in European uh, veterinary curricula. And uh, introducing animal welfare topics uh, together with the related communication skills, uh, uh, with the inclusion of professional traditions and ethics of veterinary doctors. Here you can see some important results of our survey with students. Uh, we asked uh, what is the reason of the future profession choice to be a doctor of veterinary medicine. It is interesting that uh, 70, more than 75 percent of students uh, expressed that the reason is the love to animals and uh, willing to help. Uh, when we asked do you believe that veterinary curricula and educational programs should be modernized, uh, we had 71 percent uh, positive responses. On question, did you study, uh, did you study at the faculty management practices standard procedures related to animal welfare? Uh, more than half of uh, students uh, expressed that uh, they have these topics already present in their teaching curricula. And uh, on question, evaluate the rate of teaching and importance of knowledge related to animal welfare for your future career. It is interesting that uh, here the answers are rather scattered. And uh, it is obvious that uh, still uh, there is no, no uh, complete understanding uh, that animal welfare is uh, really important uh, because if you want to sell your product, if you want to export uh, to other countries, then uh, you should comply with uh, the new standards. So uh, our strategy is uh, that we are working on updating, updating the content of veterinary education based on international standards and achievements of actual veterinary science. Uh, also uh, uh, working on training and continuous professional development of teachers of veterinary faculties so that uh, it becomes sustainable and creation of conditions for acquiring pract practical professional skills by students. Here you can see example of a uh, meeting uh, that happened uh, this week with uh, deans from veterinary faculties in Ukraine and also with connecting uh, students uh, across Ukraine with uh, nearly 100 participants where, where we discuss uh, from time to time uh, our results of uh, implementing new veterinary curricula in the system of Ukraine. Our uh, final aim is to have uh, our recommendations adopted and implemented in uh, all the faculties in Ukraine so that all the students that are finishing uh, veterinary medicine in Ukraine have appropriate knowledge that uh, will be in line with the, the most updated uh, EU standards uh, in uh, other countries. These are our contact details, uh, so thank you for your attention. I believe it was interesting to see how 
uh, the work in uh, real implementation of uh, standards in uh, uh, countries out of EU uh, are being took in place. Uh, so I'm uh, happy to answer for any possible questions.